Hi, this is Inwan. In this section, we'll be looking at AMC 10A 2011. This section, we'll be looking at question 1 through 5. We'll start with question 1. A cell phone plan costs $20 each month, plus 5 cents per text message sent, plus 10 cents for each minute used over 30 hours. In January, Michelle sent 100 text messages and talked for 30.5 hours. How much does she have to pay? First of all, there's $20 per month that she has to pay all the time. No matter how much time she calls, how much text messages she sends, she still has to pay $20. Then, it says she used for 30.5 hours and it says you have to pay 10 cents for each minute used over 30 minutes or with over 30 hours I mean so you subtract it to find out the over use of time and that's 0 0.5 hours that's going to equal 30 minutes because there is 60 minutes in one hour since she used 30 minutes over and it cost 10 cents. That means 10 cents is 0 0.1 dollar. If you multiply it, it becomes three dollars for the overtime call. Then you have to look for the text messages sent. Text messages, 100 text messages sent, and it cost 0 0.05 dollar per message, which means it's five dollar for the messages, texts. So if you add them together, 5, 3, and 20, it becomes $28, which is choice D. Question number two. A small bottle of shampoo can hold 35 milliliters of shampoo, whereas a large bottle can hold 500 milliliters of shampoo. Jasmine wants to buy the minimum number of small bottles necessary to completely fill a large bottle. How many bottles must she buy? So the small one can hold 35 milliliters. Big one can hold 500 milliliters. And since you have to get number of 35 milliliters bottle to fill up 500, you would have to divide 500 over 35 to get approximately 14.3 but you can't fill up 14.3 bottles, you would need 15 bottles. Because if you go to market, they won't be selling 0.3 bottles. That means you would need 15 bottles, which is choice E. Problem number three. <clears throat> Suppose A, B denotes the average of A and B and a, B, C in this format denotes the average of A, B, and C. What is this? So basically all you have to do for this one is just express this using these two. So this would become 1 plus 1 plus 0 divided by 3 because it's the average of these three numbers. Then the average of 0 and 1 and you would have to get the average of these three values which is divided by three. This becomes two-thirds plus one-half over three that equals to seven over eighteen. Choice D is the correct answer. Question number four. Let x and y be the following sums of arithmetic sequences. x equals 10 plus 12 plus 14 plus blah 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 up to 100. y equals 12 plus 14 plus up to 102. What is the value of y minus x? You guys might have the urge to actually add all of them up and then subtract it, but you guys don't have to. All you have to do is set it up the right way. y equals 12 Let's have some space, 12 plus 14 plus up to 102. X equals 10 plus 12 plus 14 plus up to 100. 
you're looking for y minus x, if you subtract this, you can see that all of these are the same, so it all cancels out. So all you have left is minus 10 plus 102, which is 92. That's choice A. Question number five. At an elementary school, the students in third grade, fourth grade, and fifth grade run an average of 12, 15, and 10 minutes per day, respectively. There are twice as many third graders as fourth graders and twice as many fourth graders as fifth graders. What is the average number of minutes run per day by these students? So let's say x is the fifth graders. 2x, there's twice more for fourth graders. And there are twice as many third graders as fourth graders. 4x be third graders. Then you're looking for the average number of minutes run per day by these students. For fifth graders, they ran 10 minutes. For fourth graders, ran 25 of actually 15 and third graders ran 12. And you would have to divide this by the number of students, which is x plus 2x plus 4x, to get the average, which would equal 88 over 7 if you solve this out, which is choice C. That was the questions from 1 through 5. Thank you for listening.